Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is a little insight on how to do a round logo on a cylinder that is not tapered, but, but a perfect uh, cylinder. This piece of paper was cut out at 1.5 inches by 1.5 inches. It looks, it's getting close to an egg shape. This paper circle was cut out 1.5 by 1.361. And I think it actually looks more like a circle than it does. Uh, the lines are a little skewed from the piece of paper I drew it out on. So what I did, I took the glass bottle and instead of, you can't really, on this particular case, in a lot of bottles that have a rounded edge, you can't really measure it with a straight tape. I, I use these paper tapes from Ikea, so I'm at eight, and you could use anything, a sewing tape any kind of fabric type tape that would bend around. So I'm at eight, eight and three sixteenths. Well, we need to know what this circle is. So when you draw an ellipse, you could convert it to a curve, which I've already converted it to a curve, because then you can go to Windows, Dockers, Properties, and click right here on Curves, and that is 1.18, 892, that's pretty much close to that because the bottle is 1.1875. Now you could get it dead on, and here's a little insight. I'm at 102%. When you start changing it, you have to change it by percentage because you can't really move this because now we're at 8.3. So you've got to do it by percentage. If you will do it, Start over at a new percentage, you can take your smart fill tool, fill in that new shape, left click, right click. Now you're back at 100%. We need to convert it to a curve. I guess it already is. Go up here. And now we're at 1.8. So we need just a little bit down. So I'm going to go 99.95%. And we're at, now we're a little bit high. 99.95%. Nine, nine. And for the video, that's good enough. And, and really and truly, that's probably good enough anyway. I'm gonna draw it in the center of the page, which it is. We wanna put a one and a half inch logo on there. So I'm gonna take my two point line, holding down the control button to get a perfectly perpendicular line. I'm gonna change this to 1.5. I'm gonna put T or Put P, put it in the center of the page, select them both, and then hit T. That's going to put it on the top. Now, if you take your two-point line and go from the center to that line, and from that node to that node, what we're doing is I want to figure out the distance of this curve. I'm going to take the virtual segment delete key. My nudge factor set high enough. I'm going to nudge that over. Now this is one point, the length of the curve is 1.36133. But for the video, it's 1.361. So then all you have to do is take it, I did two circles as a test. You can see this one is 1.5 by 1.5. This one is 1.5 by 1.361. So it looks like an oval, but when you engrave it on the cup or on the cylinder, it should look more rounded. I truly hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.